हेलो एवरी वन आई एम गोइंग टू बी योर इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर द कोर्स रिटेल मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजी आई एम सौरभ आई डिड माई पी एच डी फ्रॉम विनोद गुप्ता स्कूल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट आई आई टी खड़गपुर आफ्टर दैट आई वर्क विद एक्जेल आर आई जमशेदपुर एंड लेटर आई जॉइन इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी रुड़की एट द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर नाउ द होल पर्पज ऑफ डूइंग दिस वीडियो इज टू शेयर सम परस्पेक्टिव अबाउट वेदर यू शुड गो फॉर दिस मूव कोर्स और नॉट so i thought why not get a little creative about it so what we'll be doing is we'll be playing a yes or no game if you say yes i'll be sharing a perspective and if you say no then again i'll be sharing some perspective and then you can figure out whether you want to go for this course or not so the first is have you ever read something like this do you know that a retail store in australia specifically in brisbane said or pasted a notification on the door of the retail store that we are going to charge you $5 if you come to our store and you see products and you don't buy and do you know that the store is closed now so and this definitely indicates a very very crucial challenge of retailing which is called as showrooming when you have customers coming to the store taking all the services from a retail staff enjoying the ambience taking information to make better product choices but they don't reciprocate so eventually the physical retail store who is investing a lot in ambience and hiring staff or keeping a stock of products doesn't earns anything so tell me now were you aware of this if yes then this course is definitely for you because we'll be learning a lot more exciting things collectively in this journey but if your answer is no then the course is 100% for you because as far as today's managerial retailing positions are concerned or even if you are an enthusiast for retailing you should be knowing about all these exciting things then you should definitely walk with us in this journey now the another context in this yes and no game is have you ever heard about companies using time as a currency ikea started using time as a currency they asked people or the customers who were walking into their stores to show the google maps and on the basis of the distance that they had traveled they were either offering them discounts or were giving them special offers as far as their purchases were concerned so now tell me if your answer is yes with respect to the question if you know about it then this course is definitely for you because we'll be learning a lot more exciting things but if you say no then again this course is certainly for you because as a retail enthusiast as i said last time you should be well versed with the changing times and what companies are doing these days to attract shoppers and do you know that specifically this campaign was also able to earn around 47 billion impressions and 14 million of free earned media which is definitely a big achievement as far as digital campaigns are concerned we'll be looking at this exciting video which actually explains how ikea was using time as a currency ikea's giant superstores are usually built on the outskirts of cities as a result families spend a lot of time driving to the stores could ikea give them a stronger incentive to make the trip IKEA's buy with your time promotion was conceived as a way to reward people for traveling to IKEA. They could use the time they spent on the road to actually buy things in our stores. Everything in the store had a tag that showed the price in money as well as time. During checkout, shoppers just had to show the cashier their map's timeline, which would have a record of all their past trips. Converting that time into an amount in UAE dirhams was a simple calculation based on the average family income in the country. Would you like to pay by cash, card, or by your time? Cash or time? At the moment, I can see that you have two hours thirty-five minutes. Can I pay for these small items with my time? For this one item, sir, it's a total of 45 minutes, and for these three items, it's a total of 1,800 dirhams. Sir. That on time, this on card. As expected, this novel promotion was an instant hit. Have I got anything left over for hot dog maybe? After all, this was the first time that anyone had changed time literally into money, or for that matter, into a shelving unit, a coffee table, or a potted plant. Now in order to help you in understanding whether this MOOC program is for you or not I have another question for you 
डोंट यू थिंक दिस जर्नी ऑफ मूविंग फ्रॉम शेंडी मार्केट्स टू हैविंग अमेजन गो स्टोर्स विच आर कम्प्लीटली कॉन्टैक्टलेस इज वे टू एक्साइटिंग डोंट यू थिंक सो बिकॉज देर वॉज अ टाइम वेन वी हैव शेंडी मार्केट्स विच आर कम्प्लीटली ऑर्गेनाइज एंड यू हैव पीपल सेलिंग अ लॉट ऑफ स्टफ इन ऑलमोस्ट अनऑर्गेनाइज मैनर्स एंड टूडे इफ यू लुक एट इट फ्रॉम द ग्लोबल रिटेलिंग परस्पेक्टिव what you have is amazon go stores which are completely contactless which means you enter those stores you don't need to speak to anyone you can use your mobile apps to place orders and make payments and finally you can move out of the store so don't you think this is exciting now again these are a few interesting things that we'll be discussing in our course journey as we'll be walking together so overall these are the modules that we'll be learning together in this course we'll be learning about what retailing actually means in modern times then we'll be learning about the retail management decision process and finally we'll get to the facet of private label brands where we'll be understanding how private label brands were looked at in earlier times and how people are conceiving them these days and then we'll get to the most exciting challenging and crucial part which is about understanding the dynamics of multi channel and omni channel retailing which however started to offer a lot of convenience to the customers but have eventually in a way become a problem for retailers because customer just vanishes and when i said customer just vanishes we'll be talking a lot more about it so let's this be a mystery as of now later on we'll be understanding the key facets of building a successful retail strategy then understanding the key pricing and channel decisions as far as retailing is concerned and finally we'll be looking at emerging modern issues in the current retailing dynamics so these headings are just broader headings we definitely have a lot of sub topics that we'll be learning apart from that as far as this course is concerned we have introduced two new exciting elements which are called as extra fodder for thought and learning something new so as a part of extra fodder for thought i'll be sharing something exciting which will definitely stimulate you to think how retailing has evolved over these years on how it is expected to change in the coming times apart from that with respect to the element of learning something new we'll be definitely learning a new term which will also give you enhanced perspective either about the world of management or retailing now if you look at the first snippet we all know about burger king and mcdonald's but do you know how they have been at wars as far as their advertising campaigns are concerned i'm sure you were not much aware about it so again this is something which we'll be learning in the course now the next snippet or image that you see actually indicates the concept of an emotional labor now this again becomes very crucial as far as the people who work on front end desks are concerned and also with respect to hospitality industry again we'll be connecting the dots of the relevance of emotional labor in the retailing industry now the next image that you definitely see is of the grocery stores which are called as hema and are owned by alibaba now what makes them very exciting is the use of technology in these stores at almost every level so this is again another fascinating facet that we'll be learning as far as this course is concerned we'll also be learning about live commerce model and i'm very sure that you might not be aware that mintra in india has also tried to execute that and we'll be learning about this as well now as we move forward we'll be learning about showrooming and webrooming which again are very critical challenges as far as the present retailing dynamics are concerned where showrooming is about those consumers who go to offline stores they experience product but they don't buy offline then they come back and buy the products online in ways the offline store is not being reciprocated here so the survival in long run gets difficult if you have a major chunk of customers who get into showrooming and when you look at webrooming it is all about those customers who collect information online but they go back and buy offline which means the services which are being provided by online retailers with respect to helping you out by providing right information for making right product choices here is not being reciprocated so we'll be entirely looking at all these gamut of multi channel and omni channel retailing and the challenges that have kept in and finally we'll be learning about firing your customers i'm very sure you must have heard about firing employees you must have heard that in news a couple of times but have you ever heard about firing customers so this is again something exciting we'll be learning in this course as we'll move forward see for me this course is definitely going to be a collaborative exercise we'll be together learning all these new exciting things right so along with this in every module we'll also be learning why we need to bring these terms together why the term strategic has to be adjacent to retail 
see there can be a couple of reasons for this one is the contribution which retailing makes to an economy in terms of gdp and in generating employment right retailing also connotes a very high social significance now that can be looked at from the perspective of letting people afford a comfortable lifestyle with respect to the avenues that they create for employment apart from that we'll also be looking at the perspectives of csr as far as the social significance of retailing and how can we miss out on the fact that retailing certainly is a part of our everyday lives sometimes you might start your day with your with retailing let's say if you go and buy a pack of milk from the nearby shop and you might even end your day with retailing let's say if you are watching a show on netflix amazon prime because this indeed also comes under the bracket of entertainment retailing but let's also keep some mystery about retailing being strategic because there is a lot more as far as this is concerned we'll be learning together throughout the course now these are a few fantastic books which i would suggest you to read while we are going through the course one is by the levi veets and pandit and has been published by macro hill the next one is by vedamani and has been published by pearson and the last one is by nayakan dash which has been published by sengage all these books are fantastic as far as basics of the management and retailing in contemporary times is concerned now i have one more thing for you whether you opt for this course or not i have just one message for you nothing matters more than a healthier and happier you the whole idea is to break the taboo about seeking mental health counseling so if or whenever you are in times of distress never shy away from taking counseling for mental health it is as normal as if you take a seridon let's say when you are going through a headache or when you take a crozine when you feel fever so it is completely normal just like these two situations and the whole idea is to make sure that we collectively work towards creating a healthier and happier nation so i would again urge you to take out counseling whenever you are going through situations of distress as again i would say nothing matters more than a healthier and happier you thanking you and now you can make your choices as far as a yes and no game was concerned and still i look forward to meeting you when the course will begin wishing you good luck for now thank you